Hi everyone, and welcome to a new quick tip tutorial here on Vector Twist on how to create geometric flowers in Illustrator. As you can see here on the artboard, I've created several types of geometric flowers. And instead of using shapes, all I have used is a line with a stroke applied. So we want to make sure that the stroke is on, and I'm going to open up the swatches palette. And I have two color palettes in here. The first one is called Gilted Orchid, and the second one is called Perfect Pastels. I got those color combinations from a friend of mine that does designs for home decor. And on her website Artkeko, she has a section called Artkeko Colors, with a collection of color combinations that you can download as an SAE file to use either in Photoshop or Illustrator. The link to those two color combinations I'm using here in this quick tip you can find in the description. They are free to use and are designed to inspire and stimulate your creativity. Now let's go and create some geometric flowers with those colors. First, I'm going to switch to the pen tool, and then I'm simply going to create a straight line. I have the purple applied, and right now it's at one point. We're going to select the stroke, and then we're going to select the rotate tool. I'm turning on my smart guides, and then I'm pressing the Aldo option key to snap to the point on the bottom here. I click once, and then I get the rotate pop-up menu. Now let's say I want to have 12 lines. We want to rotate this particular line so it creates our flower. Now if you don't know exactly what angle you need to set, but you know how many lines you want, let's say we want 12 lines, all we have to do, type 360 for the circle, then we're going to do the forward slash, which means anything after that will be divided, and then I type 12. Now if I press the preview, it gives me 30 degrees, it shows me where it will be rotated. We placed our rotation point on the bottom line here, and then I press copy. Now don't deselect anything. Just press Command or Control and D on the keyboard several times until you have all the lines you need. Of course, this doesn't look like a flower. So let's turn this into a flower. Select all the lines and open up the stroke panel. Here in the stroke panel, we're going to switch to rounded cap and rounded corner. And then we're going to increase our weight. So let's say let's put it at 20. After that, we're going down to the profile and we're going to select the first profile here. Now you can see more how we're going to create those geometric flowers. Now all we have to do now is increase the stroke size, let's say to 50 points. This all depends on how long your path is, of course. And then we're going to opacity and then switch from normal to multiply. As you can see, we've created a really quick geometric flower. Now all we have to do is change the colors. So I'm going to open up the swatches panel and I'm going to start selecting my lines here. And now I can just choose my different colors. So every second one, I'm going to give a lighter color. And since we've changed the opacity to multiply, it gives us this geometric flower effect. Now let me show you what else we can do. Now I'm going to create a copy of this, and then we're going to change the colors. I'm going to apply a green, purple, and the salmon color. As you can see, since we still have the opacity set to multiply, it gives us this effect in the middle. Of course, we can change that. If we go back to opacity, let's switch from multiply to overlay, or even soft light. It really depends what you're trying to achieve, or even screen. So let's try screen. Then we're going back to the stroke panel, and then from the profile, we're going to choose the triangular one. And as you can see, it gives us a totally different pattern. Now all we have to do again is increase the stroke weight. So just increase it to a size that you like, and since we are overlapping the lines now, it gives us this effect again. And we've created another geometric flower. And that's not all. We can even take it another step further. So here's another copy of our lines. So I'm going to choose the blue. Then I'm going to choose the pink. I'm going to repeat this step. Then we're going to select all of the lines again. And we're going to increase our weight. And as you can see, if we increase it even more, it gives us even a new effect here. Then we can play with the opacity again. Let's say we want to set it to multiply. Just play around with the opacity settings. Either multiply works usually well, screen sometimes if it's not too much overlapping, overlay, soft light, 
or maybe even hard light, depending what kind of look you want to go for. I really like the powerful color burn effect that I can create here with this kind of color combination called Perfect Pastels. Remember, you can download those color combinations at artkeko.com. The link is in the description. And since it was really a lot of fun to do this, I want to show you one last type of geometric flower we can create here in Illustrator. Again, I'm going to create a copy and shrink it down. This time I want to change my colors up again. I'm going to choose this color combination called Gilded Orchid. Then I'm going to select all of the lines. We're going back to our stroke panel. We leave everything as is. And then we're going to turn on the dashed lines. Right now the values are set to zero. So let's add some values into the dash and the gap and let's see what happens. So let's put 30 for the dash. Nothing happens. But what happens if we set 30 also for the gap? As you can see, we've created another pattern. Again, we're using a different profile, not the uniform one for the stroke. We have cap and corner set to round and we're adding now a dashed line. Now, of course, you can increase or decrease those values to your liking. And of course, you can play with the profile settings as well. Just go through it and see which ones you like best. And this is pretty much how you can create geometric patterns here in Illustrator with simply just a line. You can still select the lines, change the colors, change the weight and the attributes of the stroke, and of course, play with the opacity settings. Now let's go back to the ones you saw in the beginning. These are the ones I've created earlier. And this is it. And remember, all we have done here is created a line with the pen tool, apply the stroke, and then set different attributes for the stroke, like weight, cap, and corner attributes, or use different profiles. Remember, you can get these really neat color combinations at artkeko.com and download the ASE file for Illustrator or Photoshop or even InDesign and check out all the other color combinations that are available there too. The link is in the description. At the same time, if you like this tutorial, please give it a like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon.